All right. The topic for today are tips when getting a personal reading from a psychic, a clairvoyant, or medium, whatever you want to call it, or tarot readers, okay? Because if you are actually someone who um, is interested in getting a personal reading, whether a reader here at YouTube or other psychics that you saw, either online or Kasamba, wherever that is, you know, I want to share some tips that's going to be very helpful for you. Um, and these are also based on my personal experience. And I think that's going to be very helpful especially that, you know, um, from someone who actually grew up in an environment um, surrounded by psychics themselves, um, family members that are psychics, my mother who, you know, was so into psychics when, you know, I was just a little girl and she would invite psychics in our home. And at the same time, I also have friends who are psychics and they've shared some very, very helpful tips um, and I've learned a lot from those tips. Some of it, though, I learned it the hard way, honestly. So that's why I want to share some of these important tips, um, especially if it's your first time to get a personal reading from a psychic or a medium or a reader, okay, or what have you. All right, so let's get started. I hope this won't take, you know, way too long, but I just wanted to share the first tip, okay, the first tip um, that I would like to share to you guys. Once a reading was provided to you, let's say, you know, either that's at YouTube, you know, you've had a personal reading with someone with a psychic. Um, once a message or a reading, whatever that is, whether that's love, general reading, career was provided to you, let it go. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by letting go? Don't as much as possible. Try not to think about it too much. You know, after a reading was made, um, just let it go. Let it, you know, let it happen. Because sometimes, especially for those who, you know, um, they were provided a certain date, like months, like for instance, okay, you will meet your future spouse in, you know, in September or in three months, you know, tendency is you get excited, right? You get excited and you're going to like think about it over and over again. Like, oh my God, this psychic told me I'm going to meet my future spouse this October or this November or next year. And you keep on talking about it or keep it playing over in your mind over and over and over again. And that's a hard lesson for me, honestly. That was a hard lesson for me because what happened was it never happened, you know? And I was like thinking at first, maybe the psychic, you know, it's not really good, you know? But then eventually after doing some research about it with different psychics, you know, they actually shared to me that the main reason that sometimes it doesn't happen, because again, you are in a lack mentality, right? Because you are actually like waiting for it and waiting for it to happen. Like, oh my God, this psychic told me I'm going to meet this person um, next month. Why is it not happening yet? Or, you know, or you're actually too excited and your mind is playing over and over to that idea or thought. So once a reading was provided to you, whatever that is, whether that's love, career, just let it go. Okay, just let it go. You know, and um, the reason behind that, again, it's because of lack mentality. You're in, a, in an energy of lack mentality because it's like you don't trust the messages that was provided to you by the universe. Again, psychics are only vessels. Psychics are not gods. OK, we are not gods. And besides, everyone is a psychic. OK, but um, once a message was provided to you, just let it go. OK, and let the universe do the work. OK, because all the more that you wait for it and all the more that you're actually obsessed with that idea, then there is a huge, huge possibility that it could shift or change because energies change. All right. I want to share to you that um, Mark Bierski, he's actually a spiritual um, teacher, healer, energy healer. Um, and he also does tarot. I remember I've learned from one of his videos. He actually deleted a video. I just want to share this to you guys. Um, he actually did an instant free reading for his viewers. And that was last year, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. Was that last year? Yeah, that was last year. Okay. All right. So he did a, an instant reading, like a free giveaway of a reading. But it was a general one. OK, like there was this message that he has for someone. And I remember after he did the reading, um, he actually gave a tip. And the tip that actually I took note of is that when getting a personal reading, you know, again, the same message, just let it go. 
you don't need to obsess yourself with that idea or thought like, okay, all right, it's the third month already. The psychic told me it's going to be in the sixth month, you know, or third quarter of this year, you know, stop obsessing over that idea. Just let it go. Cause again, it would definitely, um, create an effect, you know, it could affect, definitely affect the energies. All right. Because of your energy, your energy of being in a lack mentality and all that. And Mark Wierski also shared that whenever he would get clients who would try to get personal reading um, from him, he would actually advise his clients not to go back to him at least after six months, because there are some clients like after they had a personal reading with him and then they're going to come back and ask the very same question. OK, you know, um, that's not really a, a good thing to do. Normally, it depends on, you know, psychics. Some psychics would allow that. But majority of the psychic psychics that I know and even friends that I know, they don't like that, especially if you are asking the same question over and over again. Um and I am not going to be a hypocrite because I am actually like always asking the same questions over and over. And that was a hard lesson again for me, you know. And those are the tips that I was uh, provided with by, by friends who are psychics that you shouldn't like always like go back. And then after two weeks, go back and ask the same question again. So, yeah, that's one tip that I've learned as well from Mark Bierski. Normally what he does is that he would actually, um, you know, let his clients know that it's much better if they can come back after six months, you know, for another personal reading. OK, another thing that I've learned from my psychic friend, especially um, her name is Sheila. Unfortunately, we no longer have any contact. But one of the things um, that I've learned from her is that never go back to the recording because there are some psychics that they were actually going to provide you with a recording or ask you to take note of the reading in which I've tried both. I've did, you know, I've rec recorded the reading, person personal reading that I've had with that psychic. And you know what? One of the crazy things that happened was either the, the file was corrupted, like I couldn't go back to it. And they told me that the reason why you can't, because the universe is not allowing you to, to go back to it. Another tip or another uh, thing that I want to share is that sometimes you would just, you know, like, they would tell you or the psychics that actually gave me some advice in the past was um, they told me that you shouldn't go back to it. Like if you're if you have the recording or a note, don't look back to it or read it again or try to listen to it again if it's a recording, because definitely it's going to affect the energy. It will. It would definitely. That's really a warning for you guys, especially you've had a person reading with a psychic and then you had a recording, you know, like a face to face and they recorded whatever the psychic told you. And then you go back to it o over and over again. That's definitely it's the same thing. It's, go it's going to affect the energy of the reading. So that's the, the number one tip that I have for you guys. Okay, the number two tip, and this is actually a specific, you know, this tip is for those people who are actually, who does have, just like me, who does have friends who are psychics. Um, let's say you have a, a, tarot, a, a friend who's also a tarot reader or a psychic, right? And then you're getting, you know, personal reading from that person. Um, from yeah, from your friend or family member. I mean, that's good, and I'm not saying totally that the reading is not going to be accurate, but there is a high chance, okay, high probability, especially if you're really close with that person. I've had that experience, honestly. I've had that experience um, where it's going to affect the accuracy of the reading. Why? Because number one, it can be biased. Like, let's say, let me give you an exact example. Let's say. Um, your friend is a tarot reader, okay? And that friend of yours is actually really close to you. And you you actually try to go to that person, to your friend, and ask for a personal reading about something. And now this friend probably saw something that is not good, you know? And of course, this person cares for you so much. Or especially if it's a family member, like my sister. My sister is a psychic. And so sometimes she would even tell me, like, you know what? I don't want to be biased, okay? Because you're my sister and I love you. And I don't want to, you know, say things that 
is probably not all, not accurate any longer. It could be tainted because we're sisters, because I only care for you. And the problem is she might see it differently or the energy would be different. So, or yeah, it will be different. So normally she would ask me to, why not try to ask this friend because, you know, some of her fellow psychic friends who can probably, you know, share um, a different opinion or, or, or provide a different, rather provide a different um, viewpoint or message for you. So, yeah, because what happened to me in the past was I have this really, you know, really close psychic friend. We're like, um, we're like sisters from a different mother. Okay. We're that close. And we became so close and every day we would talk and, you know, um, we created a really strong bond. She's like my sister, and my mother at the same time. And what happened was she's very protective of me. Okay. Very protective, very possessive though. And so I only to find out later on that she has codependency. Okay. She's a psychic, but yeah, she had um, codependency issues as well. And so when I tried to get a personal reading from her, like, you know, it's a, only a free reading because we're friends or do some energy exchange by taking her out for dinner or what for free. Um, what happened was um, she actually read, you know, it differently. She did. That is because she is concerned about me. So that's a, a very specific tip for those of you who can resonate with having a psychic friend or a tarot reader as well as a friend. And then you try to approach, approach that friend and ask your friend, hey, can you give me a personal reading? And especially if you're close with that person, um, the accuracy you might not be 100%. There is a huge possibility it can be biased because, again, you guys are friends, all right? Especially if in my situation, just like my friend who's very possessive of me, she tried to read it differently, you know, because she is trying to sort of like manipulate it, okay? Do you get what I'm saying? You know, like sort of like manipulate it because, of course, she's very possessive of me. She just want me to be her friend and... um she doesn't want me to share me with other people, you know? So that's really, really scary, okay? Because even though they're coming from a place where, you know, they're very concerned about you, let's just say they're not really manipulative, but they're coming from a place where they care so much about you, um, the essence of the reading is not there anymore, okay? So what I would suggest is that if you have a psychic friend or family member and you really wanted to get a message or get a personal reading, I would suggest for you that, yeah, you can approach your friend, but try to get a second opinion, you know? You can actually try other psychics too or try a psychic, a legit psychic where you can get a reading because that psychic is somebody you do not know, and that psychic will not have a, you know, kind of like a bias. They will not be biased because they don't know you. Like, okay, I, I don't know you at all. I'm just going to give you a reading and that's it. I'm not going to see you again. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, kind of like that, you know, because that person's not going to be biased. That person is going to be very fair. And that person is just going to give you a direct, you know, message that you needed to hear. All right. Versus if you actually try to get a personal reading from a psychic friend or a tarot reader, there will be some chance that it's not going to be as accurate, especially if they, you know, um, especially if that friend or family member cares a lot about you. OK, they might see it differently. OK, or if not see it differently, some of them could even change, could tell you could hid the truth from you or they could hide rather the truth from you. All right. So if you really wanted to get uh, an accurate, you know, try different psychics. OK. And if they're saying the same things, then that's it. That's your message. All right. So that's very, very specific. And um, I've personally experienced that because, again, like what I said, my friend was so, you know, possessive of me, uh, very codependent, very, you know, clingy to. And so. I only, you know, found out about it that, you know, the reading that she gave me wasn't actually that accurate, you know, and was based on her emotions. So the emotions of the person, since you're close with that person, can affect the reading is all I'm saying. OK, so there you go. That's the number two tip. 
that's very specific though for those of you resonating more with you know having a psychic friend or a tarot reader who is also a friend of yours and they try to approach that person um, be careful try to get readings from different psychics because some people they would just because they're friends you know they would follow uh, the advice or the messages from their friend but sometimes again the emotions the relationship itself um, could actually affect the energy of the reading okay all right so number three Never share the reading to anyone. And this is really, 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 really important, guys. And it's funny because there's one video of Stargirl, the practical witch. I'm pretty sure you're listening to this and you know her so darn well because she's very, very popular. And I love Stargirl, the practical witch. Um, Stargirl shared this tip and I smile because I've gotten that tip from different psychics also. And so I was like, you know, really smiling that she also shared that tip um, on one of her videos. And that tip was do not share the reading to anyone, even to your family members, even to your best friend. My gosh, believe me, it will save your life because I personally experienced that. I have personal experience where I was so excited that I tried to share it to people, to close people, friends and all that. And then suddenly the reading of the prediction never happened. Ask me why. Well, it's because we don't know um, what the um, other person that you told your your reader, you shared the reading that you had with a psychic um, actually feels. Even family members could actually feel jealous, I tell you, because jealousy is part of human nature. And it's only, you know, it's, it's sad, but it does, you know. Did you know, by the way, just a side note here or a side um, rather um, uh, kind of like a, a, an off topic here. But did you know that the number one reason for witchcraft, for, you know, black magic or putting a spell, an evil eye on someone, the number one reason is jealousy. Believe me, guys, I've had research. I've done research about all of those stuffs because as someone who's really interested into the, you know, esoteric stuffs, I've learned that the number one reason is jealousy. Okay, sometimes even family family members could get jealous or friends. Okay, even though you're really close to them, like super duper close. And then you try to share your secret like, oh, um, Amelia, did you know that I actually consulted a psychic? And this psychic told me that I'm actually going to, you know, marry a uh, next month with this wealthy guy, blah, blah, blah. And then Amelia is going to like, you know, even though they're super duper close, would feel a little bit jealous, like, Oh, lucky you, you know, um, it creates that energy. So that energy would definitely affect the reading of what was provided to you. So that is very important, guys. I really tell you because I've had many, many times in the past where I've shared it to friends, um, especially to family members like my mom, you know. And sometimes they would say bad things like, ah, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's a crap. That's stupid. Some of them would say that like, that's stupid. I don't believe that. So again, as soon as they say that they are already emitting that or creating that negative vibration. Right. Um, and that will definitely affect, um, the reading that was provided to you. So again, my, my, personal personal tip and this is very important as soon as you get a very you know a very important information from a psychic especially dates whatever that is the entire reading itself details of the reading and it's something that is so important do not share it to anyone not to any soul i tell you not to any soul it's a secret between you and that psychic do not share it to your friends, your family members, whatever. Do not, because definitely it's going to affect the reading, especially if it's a really important, you know, reading, you know, like something that you're actually excited about, especially if it's something that is good news and then you would tell somebody about it. You know, they, you don't know how they feel. They might smile in front of you and say, oh, I'm happy for you. But who knows why, why they say that, you know, who knows, even though they're really good friends, you know, sometimes people, they have jealousy, you know, somehow um, bubbling, you know, in the surface, you know. So, yeah, I would really suggest that if you get a personal reading um, from a psychic and um, that the details that was divulged to you, all of those details, just keep it to yourself. Don't, you know, don't broadcast or don't let other any other soul know about it. 
Okay. So it's like a secret between you and the psychic. That's it. And just let it go. All right. Um, that's a really important, um, tip. And that, that was also one of the hardest lessons I've learned. Okay. Number four, um, another tip that I would like to share to you guys is try to be mindful of some psychics. Okay. Who are actually trying to lure you into coming back. Okay, because one of the tips I've learned from other psychics is that they would actually, you know, warn me and tell me, you know what, um, there are other psychics that would actually try to lure you like shark money from you. How? Like, for instance, they would try to sugarcoat things or they would they're going to tell you like, OK, I can actually do something about it. You know, you, why don't you come back next week for another reading? You know, if you get that feeling, you would know. Use your intuition. You would know. Not all psychics are like that because there are some psych psychics that really wanted to help and they wanted you to come back just because they wanted to help you out. But be mindful, you know, know their intentions. You would feel that because every one of us has intuition. And it's only sad that some people are really not um, using it, right? So if you actually, you know, hear a psychic or somebody, you know, you've consulted with a psychic and that psychic kind of like is fishy in such a way that he or she would actually try to tell you like, but you know what? You can come back to me after two weeks. We'll see what we can do about your situation. We, we can probably do this. You know, some of them are unfortunately are using their abilities to lure, okay, lure people back because, they can actually, or some of them are actually giving huge prices or what do you call that? Not prices, but, um, yeah. Um, um, what do you call that? Like uh, the, the prices of their, of their readings or, um, or sometimes it would charge you. There you go. Charge you overcharge you is what I'm saying. Some psychics can do that. They have the tendency to overcharge you or, lure you back again so that you can go back again for a reading and pay them up again, you know? So be very careful with that because there's some psychics that are actually doing that in order to get money. Okay. Some of them would even not really, you know, are doing it not just because that's what they're seeing, but because they wanted the client to go back and to go back and w in which they can get money from that person again. Okay. Um, I've had not my personal experience, but I've witnessed um, psychics were like that. And it's kind of sad, really. And then sometimes, you know, I would hear them and say, she was so stupid. She believed me. You know, that was sad. And I don't want you guys to end up, you know, being like that as well. So be mindful of the psychics of who are trying to do those things. Um, just use your intuition. You would know. You would definitely know if this psychic has really good intentions for you um, or this psychic really just one or a healer, whatever that is, would like to actually help you because some of them, they're using their abilities to actually gain more money. And that's one of the sad things about psychics. You know, some psychics would actually use their abilities just to, you know, to earn money from it. I'm not saying that psychics should give all of their readings for free, right? Because we also have energy exchange, okay? But once you get, you know, too much addicted in, you know, like using the abilities just to gain financial or for financial gains, rather, you know, and not using your abilities for the pure intention of helping someone, um, there will be consequences, definitely. Um, there are psychics and healers that I know that they really don't charge at all. They don't. They just ask for a donation. You know, what it, whatever it is that you have within you, like, like um, out of the goodness of your heart, if you feel like giving this person five bucks, then go ahead and do that. If you feel like giving the person a thousand dollars, then that's your donation, you know. Um, but I'm not saying that psychics should never charge, okay? I'm not saying that because it's also important for energy exchange, you know, because doing readings are very, very exhausting. It's actually very draining, okay? And there's karma as well, especially if you try to um, say something to the client and it's like you're responsible for whatever it is that you told um, the client, right? So that is ex that is exactly why energy exchange are very, very important. And that, you know, being charged, fairly charged is, you know, is very important. Hold on. Actually, my phone is ringing right now. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. 
you know, I just had a water delivery <laughs> this morning. But anyway, like what I'm, you know, I just mentioned earlier, basically just be very, very mindful. All right. Because I've had, you know, you know, seen and personally observed other people actually doing that actually trying to lure their customers back. I even remember, even my psychic friend told me, you know what? She told me, if I'm actually, you know, somebody who's really like sharking money from these people, I could shark like, or charge them like, let's say $3,000, you know? And, and that's not a good thing to do, okay? That's not a good thing to do because, again, like what I always say, um, psychics are actually there to use their abilities to be a vessel um, to help people to bring forth clarity and guidance, okay, and not to use abilities for financial gains. The same goes for healers, okay. The same goes for healers out there. Um, there are some healers that you know they're using their abilities for financial gains. So be very mindful, be very careful of that, okay. All right. So the fifth um, tip that I have for you guys, and this is specifically for pick a cards, you know, um, I've personally tried it myself because um i've been like you know trying out um several pick of cards from really really talented readers out here at youtube or out there rather youtube they're really good you know so many talented readers and i really admire all of them but one of the things i've also you know i've also personally observed is that and this is really amazing i tell you try it out yourself this is a great tip Let's say you have a question about something and then you keep on, um, let's say, you keep on checking out who is your future spouse or who will I marry. If that same details kept on repeating over and over and over and over again, and then you've tried several psychics already and you get the same message, wow, I tell you, that's not a coincidence, you know? Um that's definitely not a coincidence because they've tried different docs or you've tried several psychics and yeah, you know, you still get the same message. So that's a very, you know, awesome tip for you guys. I've personally experienced that too. Like I keep on getting the same message and very detailed, you know, exactly the same message. So if you want to try that out and you're somebody who's actually to pick a card readings, give it a shot, you know, take note of it, take note of it. If you easily forget it, then try to take note of it. And if you have a spe special like question in your mind, or let's just say like you wanted to get some clues about who is going to be your future spouse, try to you know, check out different readers who had that kind of reading and um, take note which are the repeating messages or the clues. And um, that means that's really for you. OK. And then number six tip that I have for you. Um, be careful of psychics as well, who's actually trying to use their abilities from the dark side, because there's always dark and there's always light. Right. Um, if there's dark, there's light. Everything is balanced. If it's black, there's white, you know. So um, be very careful if you're actually trying to get a personal reading um, from a psychic. Um, but that's the thing. Some of you doesn't know, right? Um, in fact, just to share to you guys, my sister actually had a reading in the past, like years ago. She had the reading because she was really troubled about something. Like she had questions about, you know, some family problem. And um, this psychic actually started, you know, telling her so much negative stuff that truly, truly affected my sister that we both have to go to a healer in order, you know, to get clarity, uh, a psychic and a healer. And that was really terrible because when she got a personal reading from that psychic, that psychic actually said a lot of, you know, terrible things like, oh, your sister's going to end up uh, committing suicide. Oh, your brother. I see that your brother's going to be, you know, into gambling. Oh, you know, everything was negative. And my sister was deeply affected by it because um, she was affected by the entire reading. She knows in herself and her own intuition that wasn't true. Right. Because she is a psychic herself. She knows that there's something that is um, not true. And especially that th that psychic actually said a lot of terrible things about what's going to happen to her, about what's going to happen to the entire family, you know. And so what she did was when she actually told me all about those terrible things, we actually tried to consult other psychics and 
the other psychic said, you know, even said that that psychic was actually using her abilities um, or it's uh, that psychics was basically like using it from the dark side. You know, they're not using it with the divine or from the divine or from the light to be uh, specific or to be general. Um, there are psychics that were, they were actually using their abilities or they're getting their abilities from the dark side. Either they're practitioners that are witches, like into black magic, you know, they're doing really, you know, awful stuff. Most of their abilities are based from the dark side or they're getting it from, you know, from something evil. OK, so be very careful. Right. Be very careful, especially if you were given a really terrible reading. Try to get a second opinion and try to get healing as well. Try to get second opinion all the time because never rely everything you know not everything is set in stone like I always tell you guys because energies do change now if you're truly affected by the reading of a uh, psychic who told you a lot of negative stuff try to get a second opinion and if you found out from different psychics already especially those that you would feel that the psychic is actually um, somebody that can be trusted or somebody that is actually, you would feel that. You would feel that if the psychic is, you know, um, getting their, their abilities from the light, then, yeah, try to gather as much as, you know, information from other psychics as much as possible um, because some of them, they try to deliver it differently, okay? Some of them are too harsh you know uh, or some of them are just basically the reason why they're saying all those things because it's based from you know they're they're using their abilities all their abilities were derived from the dark side okay and so we were told by other psychics okay that person that psychic that my sister actually visited was someone who's actually um yeah practicing you know black magic and that person was actually someone who's getting her abilities from the dark side and that is the reason why she's saying negative things or she's saying a lot of a lot of you know terrible things and the funny part is that never happened whatever she told my sister it never did happen okay so that's a warning for you guys because what if you are so gullible or you actually got deeply affected about you know when a psychic told you some terrible stuff that's gonna happen to you or to your family members or your loved ones then oh my god everything is already damaged right because you started believing everything that that psychic said okay so be careful try to get second opinion try different psychics as well um if you get the same message then maybe they will actually give you some advice or just some clarity or guidance but in my sister's situation in the past that was really terrible that she had you know to get some healing afterwards okay so yeah and um the last tip is pretty much you know related to number six and to the entire actually the entire tip that you should never rely your important decisions of your life entirely on readings entirely on psychic tarot readings okay because these are just messages it could be messages um, um current messages that you needed to hear and anything can change all right so my advice for you guys or tips is never give your power away to anyone whether they're psychic or not Never give your power away to anyone. Follow your own inner guidance. Follow your own intuition. Okay? Um, do not depend everything on whatever the psychic said. Even that's the Nostradamus or what. Um, anything can still change. All right? Those are just present energies that can absolutely change. And some of, and some and sometimes, you know, the reason why the energies change are the, you know, the same tips that I've shared earlier. That it can change because you've been um, focusing on that thought or obsessing on that thought, thought over and over again, which could definitely affect the energy of the reading that was provided to you, of the messages that you needed to hear at that time. All right? So many things. But definitely energy do change all right so never rely important super important decision just in readings alone mix it with your own intuition follow your own inner guidance okay um don't give your power away to anyone out there never never do that okay again psychics are just um there to empower you give you um some clarity or guided messages that you needed to hear right but again anything can change you have your own free will 
okay? Psychics are not gods. We are not gods, okay? We're not like, oh, we are so good. We're so freaking gifted that we can tell what's going to happen to you tomorrow. You know, anything can still change. Psychics are there. Again, let me stress that. Psychics are there to actually share their abilities to help people, to provide clarity and guidance, okay? So... There you go. I hope all of those tips that I've shared on this recording will be very helpful for you because I've learned some of them or majority of them the hard way. That's why I want to share it so that you can actually, you know, try to avoid it. Some of the things, you know, that you might want to avoid or to be mindful of, okay, to be wary about. So hopefully that will help you guys, especially for those who are actually you've never you've never had a personal reading. Um, from any psychics in the past or ever. So, yeah, I, I know that these are going to be very helpful for you. But anyway, by the way, before I wrap this recording, I, my sister and I just did a personal reading for your three winners, and that is Singha Sapna, um, INCGNT to sub, and then Divine Pearl. Again, congratulations to all you guys, and thanks for joining. So, yeah, I'm going to send actually the... Uh, readings um, in a few. All right. So there you go. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Love and light. Bye.